Well, hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're talking about a piece of very unexpected news that com came completely out of nowhere. I, when I heard this news, I thought this has got to be a load of rubbish because it sounded like the most far-fetched rumor I'd ever heard. And that's the announcement that came out of Comic-Con just the other day that we were going to be getting a crossover episode between Strange New Worlds and, of all series, Lower Decks. The honor falls to me to announce that in season two of Strange New Worlds there will be a crossover episode with Lower Decks. Stress them out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you guys are in live action form? Yeah, just like you see us now, baby. <laughs> yeah. Very similar yeah. to this, except with purple hair and more red on me. Yeah. In general. <laughs> And sure enough, at the Comic-Con announcement that happened the other day with Anson Mount at the panel for Strange New Worlds and out comes uh, Tawny Newsom and Jack Quaid announcing that they would in fact be appearing in Strange New Worlds as their live action versions of their characters from Lower Decks. But not only that, being a crossover episode, we're also going to get Pike and crew, I guess, uh, in a Lower Decks episode. So we're getting live action Mariner and Boimler, and we're getting animated Pike and potentially other um, Strange New Worlds uh, cast members as well. What an absolute um, crazy idea this is. Like, I, I, I had heard quite a while ago that Alex Kurtzman had been hinting at a crossover episode, but I, I pretty much figured it was going to be a Strange New Worlds episode because being self-contained episodes, they lend themselves to like a once-off kind of crossover. But I kind of just assumed, oh yeah, it's going to be a crossover between Strange New Worlds and maybe it'll be a, a time travel episode with, you know, with the Picard cast or, a, uh, or, or probably more likely that was more plausible is that there was going to be some sort of time travel episode or something with um, Pike jumping to Discovery's era or something to that effect. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Strange New Worlds episodic format or whatever lends itself to having a once-off story like this. So we pretty much thought, oh yeah, it's probably going to be a Strange New Worlds thing. But never in my wildest dreams <laughs> did I think it would be a crossover with Lower Decks. This is just a bizarre idea. But when I heard it, it's like, this is going to be a really fun idea, I think. Tawny Newsom and Jack Quaid look close enough to their animated characters uh, that... You know, you put them in a Starfleet uniform, do a bit of hair and makeup, and you know, you've literally got their um, their characters from Lower Decks appearing in live action. So this is uh, this is going to be really interesting. I think. I wonder how out there their characters are going to be because obviously, in terms of Lower Decks, their characters are pretty. You know, a pretty high energy. Um, the tone of the show is kind of you know it plays for jokes, um, whereas. I think when you've got a live action show, you pull it down a notch or whatever. So I wonder whether their, their characters are going to be as zany as they are in Lower Decks or whether they're going to hone it down a little bit for the live action content. The other piece of interest, interesting news I heard is the um, the director of this crossover uh, episode is going to be Jonathan Frakes. So I've got none other than Jonathan Frakes directing this Lower Decks slash Strange New Worlds crossover episode. And the other question is, because Lower Decks occupies the timeline post Star Trek Nemesis, but pre Star Trek Picard, and obviously Strange New Worlds op occupies the time space pre seven years pre original series. I wonder whether the crossover is going to be the um, the Enterprise from Strange New Worlds traveling forward to the future to uh, interact with the Cerritos and you know and the Lower Decks people, or whether it is going to be the Lower Decks people going back in time to Pike's era on board the Enterprise in in that uh, time frame. Other questions, you know, it also places other questions out there like, are they going to be wearing their Lower Decks? style uniforms that we see in the animated show, or are they going to be in different Starfleet uniforms? And being a crossover episode, does this mean we're going to get part one starting in Lower Decks and then part two concluding in Strange New Worlds? Or is it going to be the other way around? Is it going to be a Strange New Worlds episode for a part one and then part two is going to end up in Lower Decks? 
So many uh, interesting questions, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. I think uh, um, that Tony Newsom and uh, and Jack Quaid are going to do um, some some really funny stuff. I think on Strange New Worlds. I think it's probably going to end up being our season two comedic episode. You know, much like the uh, the Arethium 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 Arethium. Elysium Kingdom episode uh, where we saw obviously the characters take on fairy tale book characters. I'm guessing uh, this is kind of going to be our comedic episode in season two where we have the uh, the lower decks uh, cast um, interact with our uh, our Strange New Worlds Enterprise cast. So we've actually seen Tawny Newsom and Jack Quaid in their uh, lower decks uh, characters in a sort of a live action sense before they appeared at a convention or an event uh, in costume. So we've already got a little bit of a uh, a glimpse here at what they might look like in uh, in their live action versions of their characters. So this is uh, kind of a little tease, I suppose, as to what we might expect. But also, let's face it, seeing Pike, you know, in animated form is also going to be cool as well and Pike has actually said he's, he's he's a very buff a very buff Captain Pike in animated form apparently from uh, from his comments at uh, at Comic-Con but franchises bringing animated characters into the live-action realm isn't a new concept Star Wars has been doing this for quite a while which started back with the movie Rogue One which introduced Saw Gerrera who'd only previously been seen in the Clone Wars TV series then they brought in Ahsoka Tano and Bo-Katan which had also only been seen in the Clone was into the Mandalorian series. They brought a live action Cad Bane into the Book of Boba Fett, had, having only been previously seen in the Clone Wars, and most recently the Grand Inquisitor, who had been seen in Star Wars Rebels, and then they brought him into Obi-Wan Kenobi. But Hollywood's been doing this for years in movies like Scooby Doo, The Flintstones, and even all of those Disney live action remakes of animated films. So this is real intriguing news, and, and I'm really looking forward to season two of Strange New Worlds. I think this is going to be a blast of an episode when it hits our TV screens. Uh, sometime next year. But let me know what you think about this crossover episode of Lower Decks and Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Leave a thought in the comments section, guys, and uh, don't forget to leave a super thanks if you're able to. really helps the channel out. Uh, like and comment if you can do that as well. That is also really helpful. And um, don't forget to check out the merch in the merch store. Um, Star Trek, you know, t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, caps, all that sort of thing. Always new, new designs in there and, uh, and quite often at bargain discount prices as well. So um, be sure to check that out and I'll be back very soon with my next video. I'll see you guys soon.